It's, no, it's just like slippery. <laughs> it's hot in here. And this rink honestly isn't the best material. It's a little slippery. Watch this, first shot bar down. Wow, boards are dead. Ready, rain to his glove. Rain to his glove. <laughs> oh, it's slippery. It's just like, I just ran them it's just like moist. If that makes yeah. like the whole surface, it's just like a little bit, it sucks. Like it's really so.
Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Caden McCrory alongside Vinny Passante. Three goals and an 8-4 victory over Farmingdale today. Vinny, how does it feel to be on the national stage and get a hat trick? Well, I, I mean, I can't speak for the rest of the team, but I think with this being the first appearance for a national championship, I mean, it's quite exciting. So, I mean, being out there with the boys, it's awesome. We had a five and a half hour drive up here, and you guys looked like you didn't even were bothered by that at all. You guys had eight goals total. A lot of it also coming from Roman Kramer and Gio Palumbo. What's it like to play with those three? Oh man, I mean, they're, they're a big adjustment to the team, that's for sure. But I mean, overall, I think the boys played pretty well for a long drive, like you said. And I think we got the job done, so we'll move on to the next one. Next game, Slippery Rock, a team that you did not beat in the first time, but a really close rival. We'll have that later at 850. What do you guys need to do moving forward against Slippery Rock, who you guys know is one of your toughest opponents? Yeah, I mean, they are going to be the toughest opponent right now. Uh, we definitely just got to play our game, play play good positioning, communicate like we, we've been doing, play the body, and just try to get the job done, that's for sure. So. Uh, speaking of inline hockey, how did you get into inline hockey, and what makes it, you think, so much fun and you feel like for everyone to play? I mean, I started at a young age. I started with deck hockey, and then I got transitioned by my parents into inline hockey, and I went from inline to ice, and I just stuck with inline the entire way, and I, I loved it. I love the aggressiveness. I love the the, uh, the phys physicality that comes with inline. I love the playmaking style of it compared to ice hockey. It's just overall, it's, it's a great sport to get into. Absolutely, I'm also a deck player as well. Okay, didn't make the transition to inline. No, but still, I, deck hockey's pretty fun. Hey, it's never too late. It's never too late <laughs> to start. So, what player did you? What player did you look up to the most? Um. Growing up, like yeah, for, for NHL, up. Yep. Um, I'd say Malkin was a big one for me. And then as I transitioned into inline to ice, I, I think it was I started going with Patty Kane. Yep. That's my man. So okay. I could yeah. see that a little bit from yeah. some of the moves today. Oh yeah, he's he's definitely my still is all time favorite. So right. yeah. Vinny, thank you so much for doing this. Of Congrats course, on the hat trick, my man. Thank you, appreciate all right. it. We'll be back with an honor of interview after the slippery golf game. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, boys. Oh, I got it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>